Yo yo people, Garrett Yoon here for another video. This video is gonna be in Farming Simulator 19 and today we are gonna be checking out probably the most requested mod for the game. At least my personal most requested mod. Uh, and that is a working ladder truck. And by working, I mean this thing works. Uh, it, it does a lot of things. I'm gonna start showing you guys them now. It's gonna take a few minutes, so just hang in there. Uh, cause just there's so many features. Uh, but another thing I want to mention is that this was created by Lambo Mods. Now, if you want to get your hands on this today, what you need to do is join his Patreon page. It'll be linked down below. Uh, he's also a sponsor for this video, so shout out to him for that. But um, yeah, this truck, guys, this mod alone, it's worth joining his page. I genuinely mean that, and here's why. We put out the outrigs just like so very cool oh another thing i also should mention in a month uh this will become fully public so you guys can get it uh on the mod ninja website i believe it is here let's see let's see what the name is it says it uh modding ninja yeah there we go so that is his website where he'll be posting all of his public mods after they're on patreon um so yeah just keep that in mind but yeah so whoever outrigs out we can turn on our lights uh, now there is a siren i'll show you that very very quickly just go like this and yeah turns on you just use your mouse control for that uh by the way if you guys are ever running controls for stuff click f1 and you can see a full menu and when you click buttons it shows you even more information so yeah very very cool there um but yeah that's not all this has we can raise up this ladder pretty cool it can also be extended out which is also awesome the top of it you can angle just like so and another thing the top does is if we turn on our engine we can also turn on the hoses up there with B so there you go you see that they are spraying kind of need a wide angle there uh, but yeah it is fully working and there is another thing with this ladder you can climb it so we can go up just like so uh, this is probably what most people have been waiting for is a ladder truck you can actually fully climb up. Uh, but yeah, and then from here, you see we have our gauge saying how much water is left. Uh, we can jump out, jump back in. It is fully um, built with collision, so that's very cool. But we aren't done with all the features quite yet. As I showed you guys this screen. Now, pay attention up here and to the screen, okay? Ready? I'm going to go ahead and click R. Look at everything that just happened. I'll click it again. There we go. Okay. So we pick up these hoses. We pick up the nozzle. The screen turns on, has a loading screen saying modding ninja, and then shows us the gauges. And on top of that, there's this little like latch that moves over too. So many things are happening. It is insane. Uh, and obviously you have your gauge down here saying um, information about your water. But there's even more that I haven't touched yet. And another thing you can do with this, and I'm probably missing a lot of things throughout this video, I'll be honest. I'm trying to address everything um, the best I can, but there's so much to talk about with this mod. It's crazy. Uh, you have a hose length. So in our menu, you see that is going up at the bottom. Uh, we are at 45%, we're at 30% now, 20%, uh, 10%, 8%, right? Very cool. Then you have your PSI, and your PSI is your water pressure. Now you can actually adjust this. If I start spraying it, you see how far it goes? Well, now let's crank this bad boy up. So we'll go at 100%, and yeah, it sprays a lot more. So if I turn it back down to like 10%, let's say, you see it's like just as a little stream. So very, very cool seeing that. Um, and yeah, another thing too is in this menu, it shows you how much diesel's left, um, how much water's left, and uh, again, obviously your PSI. So, really, really cool. You can put that away. And I think I've pretty much addressed everything you guys need to know about this truck. Uh, again, you can get this on Lambo Mods Patreon page right now, uh, or you can wait a month and get it then. But honestly, guys, I recommend you just join his page now because he worked so hard on this. Uh, I, I know that, like, as I said, he is a channel sponsor. He sponsored this video. Uh, you guys know we have very good connections with him. And I don't get any money, by the way, when you guys join his Patreon page. That's not how that works. Um, but I genuinely mean, like, 
you guys need to show some support to him. Uh, he has worked so hard on this thing. So really recommend you join. You also get access to like so many other mods. Uh, he made this fire station. He made the ambulance. He made this hazmat truck. He made pretty much everything we'll be using in this video. Uh, so yeah, just giant shout out. And he's also genuinely a really good person. Um, yeah, just wanted to mention that. I don't want to say any like, of his private information, but just know that he is a very heroic guy. Uh, that's another thing I'll say. And uh, he also has a family to support. I'll say that as well. Nothing else. Um, but yeah, anyways, here's a little clip kind of talking a bit more about what is on his Patreon page. And uh, when you guys are watching that, I'll be waiting for our first call. Join Lava Mod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Alrighty guys, we have our first call. It actually took a while to come, so I decided to go up to our sleeping quarters and uh, just take a little nap. Let's go down our fire pole. There we go. Uh, we also should probably turn off the alarm. So just like that, and it will take a minute to turn off. Just gotta make sure everyone else wakes up as well. Let's open this door, and we are responding to a fire. This is a very big structure fire, and you can see it from here. Um, yeah, it is actually one of our neighbors, which is crazy, uh, very unfortunate. Hopefully, due to how close we are, we can take out this fire without there being too much damage to their house. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. Get moving so we turn this on turn on the lights as well with our home button turn on the siren with our right mouse button you hold that down and then you drag and let's get moving so this thing is absolutely huge as i've said um it is a beast to drive you got to keep that in mind you're taking big turns uh obviously no surprise there it is quite quite insane <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there is also lots of different camera angles, like we have the back of the ladder. Uh, what are the other ones? We have a backup view as well, which is cool, and then your exterior view and your first person. So four different angles total. Hopefully can show a really good view of everything that's happening around here. There we go. Now, there is an easier way to turn into uh, this area, but I decided to go the long way because with our ladder truck, it's actually a little bit easier. So here we go. Yeah, the other way was right over here, but with the way the traffic was, it just made sense to go around. So here we are, look at this thing. Now, we obviously aren't gonna need our ladder extended too much, um, but it's nice that we can now get roof access here. So I'm gonna go ahead, park around back. I think this should work best. Uh, now, is there anything we need to watch out for specifically? Let's just look around. Okay, so there is something regarding air conditioning there. Uh, there okay, here is more air conditioning stuff, which obviously um, does some moving components and stuff. You just got to keep that in mind. I don't see any gas tanks or anything like that, though. And, okay, I don't really think we're suited to go in quite yet. So what I'm going to do is extend this out. Now, to do this, I think the best way will be to kind of back up like so. And then put the outrigs down. Should make this nice and stable. We can raise up the ladder. There we go. This is with your left mouse button. Move this to the side. Um, and yeah, okay, again, so this vehicle requires water and herbicide. Uh, well, okay, it's actually a herbicide or uh, there's one other thing you can use. I think fertilizer. So you need two different sources in here uh, for the cannons and for the handheld hose to work. Just to the way that the game limitations are he had to do that uh, he sent me a message explaining why and everything but anyways let's go ahead move this out just like so that is a large extension there we go and we can move it to the side and everything obviously all right here uh what if we there's actually a camera view up top yeah so we can see a lot better view of what's happening from here but there we go and again you can just climb up the ladder by yourself if you want to so we could just run up here uh, oh, come on there we go have it a bit of a weird angle but anyways we'll do that more in a sec uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our next fire truck alright guys so we're back at the station let's open up the back door here 
And as you can see, our, our alarm and lights are now turned off. Um, but yeah, so we have these two vehicles we could bring. I'm gonna just bring this rescue truck. It has some more hoses, some ladders, uh, just some useful stuff that we might need today. So let's turn on the lights. And this has sirens as well. Uh, and just so you guys know, again, this was made by Lambo Mods. The fire station, all the uh, vehicles you're seeing, they were made by him. Oh, okay, so he made those two over there. He made the skins for those, um, but the original were made by Expendables Modding, I believe. So, yeah, it was either Expendables Modding or Exley. Uh, but yeah, these are their fire trucks and ambulances. That was all customly done fully by him and his team. Uh, so that's like Lambo Mods, Winston, and I believe Beardshot's still on the team too. It's pretty cool. But okay, for this truck, we should just be able to drive in like so. We didn't really use our siren at all. But here, it's a bit of a different siren. Kind of cool. There we go. And this will be parked right here. And that should be good. So I just turned that off. And there we go. Now this thing can hold water as well. Just so you guys know if you were curious. But yeah, let's go ahead and grab an ambulance just in case we need it. All right, guys, I'm in the ambulance. We can turn it on, turn on the lights. Now, something I want to mention is this will be having a stretcher that someone can actually go in in the near future. I believe it's actually already out. I just don't have my hands on it yet when recording this video. So yeah, but that is something that uh, Lambo sent me a picture of, which is very cool. The back door is open in this, in case you guys didn't know. Here we go. Very cool interior as well. So, can move here. Turn on the siren. This is a very convenient location, I'm not going to lie. Obviously, it's kind of scary having a fire this close to where we are. And there's also a lot of buildings around. But, still kind of cool nevertheless if we can get here that fast. So, there we go. And I guess it's time to start taking out this fire and enter inside and... Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be crazy. All right, so we'll go ahead grab our hose. Now our hose line should be long enough to get in there. Uh, I also don't want to turn the top of it on. So let's go ahead and do that, just like so. There we go, and we can actually angle this down as well to hit it a bit better. Uh, let's actually raise it up and angle it down. There we go. I think that is a pretty good spray we have going. So let's go ahead and hop on out, just like so. Very, very cool. And then we can grab uh, this right here, our high, or turn on high pressure water washer, it says. But it is our hose line. There we go. And again, we do have measurements at the side. We're at 30%, 40%, 50%, 60% for a length. So it is going up. Uh, but yeah, let's start spraying in here. The TV is on fire. Uh, okay, it looks like there is something else going on there. By the way, this fire uh, building, the fire is added by Lambo Mods. So that's another cool thing to mention. But let's spray this thing down, guys. This is insane. I'm so happy we have this ladder truck now. And we will be going on the ladder more in a sec. I kind of want to see if we can bring a hose line up there. I don't know if it will work. But we will test that out. All right, let me move around here. Again, we have something going on there, but no fire at least. Just kind of a lot of thick smoke. Spray down the kitchen. I have no clue how this started. It looks like it was probably electrical uh, based on where the fire is mainly located. But yeah, the ceiling seems to be burnt as well already. Here we go. Now, I do have my gear on for anyone wondering. Let's spray back here. Hose down the door. Now the fire is going down a little bit, as you guys can tell. Okay, let's go back out. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's go back out of here. So this fire still has quite a bit to do. All right. Um. Yeah, I guess let's spray here. There we go. And okay, you know what? We really aren't hitting it that well. So luckily, luckily someone made a very cool fire truck for us to use. Let's go ahead and use this. So, I think the best method here, again, I don't know if we can bring a hose line up. I'm assuming we can. So, what I'm going to do is uh, enter the view up top. So we can adjust this. Get a little bit better. And you see these measurements are going down. Like we are 
actually using this. Um, but yeah, okay, so I want to give us roof access. I think that is really what we need right now. I'm also going to turn on, off the top because we won't be needing that. Um, okay, here we go. What's going to be the best way? If we go like right there, or you know what? What if we kind of bring it back a little and then do a bit of a jump? I think that might work better. Yeah, hopefully. All right, let's hop on out. We will grab our hose, just like so. There we go. And climb on up onto the roof. Hopefully it's pretty stable, guys. Really not sure. There we go. All right, now this fire has been sprayed quite a bit. It is a little bit slippery. I want to really go down here, get this lower part. I might actually be nice to have another ladder truck over here. So, I don't know, maybe maybe we'll do that. Actually, here, you know what? Let's go ahead and bring another ladder truck. Because I want a constant um, supply just hitting it this at all times. So yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Alrighty guys, here we are approaching the house. We got the other ladder truck. So I think hitting it from this side would be pretty good. So we'll go ahead, back it up. And luckily the fire does not seem to be spreading to the neighbors which is obviously what we were hoping for because that is a whole nother issue so here we go uh let's extend this out let's raise it up actually a little bit more okay let's get a view up top perfect and then uh we can angle it down like so perfect still learning the controls i'm not gonna lie and we can start spraying all right so we'll go right down like so should be pretty good i don't want to really fall out of here so let's go hop on out and yeah that is perfect so we can go back to our other truck and uh, continue using this water supply because we have quite a bit left as you can tell from our measurements down there actually you know what let's get everything spraying i don't see why we haven't done this already uh, there's no harm in it so yeah okay we'll get that angle down should be pretty good. And then we can go use this. I'm pretty sure we can have both running at the same time. We'll run on up top. Here we go. Okay. So that's giving us somewhere to walk. And okay. Can we run past here? I want to try approaching the other side. Let's go ahead and try. Three, two, one, go. Perfect. Oh, okay. That got a little hot. Uh, and our water hose can't go further. Okay. We are kind of trapped. Uh, let's put this down. There we go. That was not ideal. I think we should probably grab this water line. Now that we have experienced that. <laughs> okay. Can I like climb up here do you think? Let's try. Uh. Ooh. There we go. Perfect. So we have both supplies going. Plus we have this um, handheld hooks as well. There we go. Now the fire is going down. We'll just keep on hitting it. And it looks like we got the majority of the fire out now. That is awesome. There we go. Just keep spraying it down. Make sure we get every last bit. The roof is kind of hot on my feet. Um, but it's all good. I guess under my feet. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Uh, let's go. Can we jump there? Eh, maybe? I don't know how much further our hose is going to reach. Oh, okay. This is our extent. So we'll spray down here. Oh, look at all the water. Perfect. Yeah, we're not trying to go any further. There we go. Make sure we get all of this. Perfect. It's telling us a field info. Don't really know why. <laughs> okay, let's go on back. And uh, we'll just jump off the roof. Again, we do have a ladder, uh, but right now both working on keeping this fire down. I think we should probably do one more go into the house just to make sure that's all set. Uh, now, ooh, actually, this is as far as that hose will go. So we're going to have to use our other line. Here we go. Put this down like so. We'll run over here. Grab this other hose. Uh, from this side come on come on there we go and now we should be able to go inside without having that message appear 
Perfect. Okay. So yeah, spray all of this down. Again, this area is where I believe it started. So we'll keep on spraying. And yeah, the ceiling definitely does have some damage here. But honestly, it's pretty good. Like, the house is sal salvageable. <laughs> that was a hard word to say. There we go. We can spray that door that was once on fire. Perfect. So, I think we're all good. It's time to wrap things up. Which means we have to move down our equipment, turn off the hoses. I'm going to keep the other line just running on the other side. Just because it's going to probably be uh, the safest option. Uh, but yeah, okay. We'll turn this one off though. And we can raise that. Now bring it back. And whoops, that's the siren. Not what I was looking for. There we go. I feel like I'm going to do that quite a few times by mistake. Now we can lower this down. And that should be good. Put the outrigs up. We can turn off the lights. And we are now fully able to move around. This is perfect. So yeah, we'll try driving out of here. Well, let's see if we can get out of those houses in first person. Okay, drive closer. Close, close, close. There we go. Turn. Okay, I don't think we hit anything. Perfect. We are all good. And yeah, here's like... I think this view is so cool. Like, look at that. <laughs> can even raise it up and get that really nice angle. It'd be good for filming a movie at that angle. But anyways, let's go ahead and run on back. We'll grab this other truck. Here we go. Now, we didn't really need our tools here, but no biggie. Okay. To do this, we got to turn that off. We then... Should probably start moving this in nice and quick. There we go. We will adjust our angle. Move it down. I don't know if you would really be sitting in here when doing this, but it's fun to do either way. That looks to be all good. Alrighty. So now all that's left is to jump back in, put those outrigs up, turn off the lights, and get on out of here. So let's try again first person. Now, one thing that's a bit interesting that I realized is that there is no side mirrors. I don't know if that's planned to be added or what the case is there. They probably wouldn't really be that useful due to how big this uh, truck is. So, I'm honestly not surprised that they aren't included, but would, I guess, kind of be nice to have. You do have a small one up top that shows you in front of you, uh, which obviously is probably more handy than your side mirrors would be for this case. Well, I don't know. The side mirrors would be useful. But with a vehicle like this, you just need to know the way it drives and have a really good understanding of the size. Because, yeah, you can't be taking turns really slow and going fast towards a call. So, yeah, we'll back this thing up. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. Don't know what I was trying to do there. The ambulance is kind of in the way. Not going to lie. Probably should put it in a different location or moved it out first. But yeah, this is ready to go. And now our final vehicle is the ambulance, which we can turn on, turn off the lights. And by the way, with the opening doors, uh, there is how it looks. So, very, very cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to bring these all back to the station. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like and consider subscribing. Just again, another reminder, all these mods you see here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, wait, I guess those two trucks are the same. So, one, two, three, and four, and five over there, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. All those are made by Lambo Mods. Check out his Patreon page, link is down below. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like on this video. Uh, also, guys, another thing is our website had a complete overhaul, spent many, many, many hours working on it. Uh, you guys can check that out. Link is down below. It's garrettplays.com. Lots of stuff over there. Very, very useful stuff, actually. So, yeah, I recommend you check that out. Again, our Twitter, Instagram, Discord, Patreon, merchandise, uh, channel membership link, all that's down below. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.